but there are two major ones, and I will speak about them. That is post-harvest losses and marine pollution. On post-harvest losses, we have harvests of about 7, 7 billion live weight tons uh, in Africa's uh, fisheries and aquaculture. Uh, that is a value of about uh, $21 billion, which translates to about 1.3% of Af Africa's GDP. So this is huge, this is significant. So when we have post-harvest losses on this uh, volume of trade, it is significant and we have to find a way of reducing <laughs> post-harvest losses on this volume of trade from fisheries and aquaculture under the blue economy. The second one is pollution. Now, we know from the World, uh, World uh, uh, Council, we know that by 2025, all plastics that are dumped in the ocean will be almost equivalent to all the weight of the, of the fish in the ocean. And this is really worrying. This is a very worrying trend. We have to find ways and means in which we can control pollution of the oceans and pollution of marine resources in respect to plastics. I think there still remains much to be done in terms of finding programmatic, uh, uh, practical programmatic approaches to financing the Oceans and Blue Economy programs. We've already heard in the previous side event where we were that uh, Oceans and Blue Economy is the most underfunded, is the most under-researched, and so there is need really for financial resources to flow in order for the blue economy to become a major area of investment. Even for the private sector, I think we heard from the last speaker in the last side event that the private sector is looking for signals for the public sector to participate and indicate how we can grow businesses in the ocean and blue economy.